Continuing on with the logic of our script, we now have the create ticket functionality pretty much complete. But our next step is to render all of these created tickets to the user when they visit this URL. Since we want to pass these created tickets to the user, regardless if this if statement is true, we need the logic outside of our if statement. So we'll add a Python module here. Now we'll open up this editor. We'll go back to GitHub and we'll see that this logic is number two. Render all open tickets from DB on homepage. We'll take this and I'll copy this code and then I'll explain it when I paste it. So what we're doing is we're importing those libraries. We're connecting to the database and with TinyDB, there's a method that we can use to search the database. We're applying this method to search for all open tickets. And then for each ticket, we're just creating a string of HTML that we can pass back to our HTML module from our Python logic. All of that is a little confusing, but in reality, all we're doing is creating an HTML element for each ticket, and then we'll write that back to the HTML module. So we can close that editor. We'll open up this HTML module, and then we'll go and grab the code for this HTML module labeled as number three. Copying this and pasting it in, we see that we have a few red pills that we'll need to take care of, but all we're doing is passing that HTML and this pill inside of an HTML doc that has Bootstrap installed. All of this is just Bootstrap, and all of this is just standard HTML. So we need to create this submit link so this pill isn't red, and this HTML is red right now, but that's just because that HTML variable hasn't been created since this Python step hasn't ran. So it's nothing for us to worry about. Let's go ahead and create a variable that will change the submit link pill back to blue. So we have submit link, and this will just be the link for this create tickets. You can dive into the HTML if you want to, but all we're doing is giving the user a link for this create tickets within the HTML. Now that pill should be blue because it now has a reference variable to it. Refreshing this, we now see it's blue. 